Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about compound inequalities, and we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So, if I was given this inequality, negative 1 is less than 9 plus n, which is less than 17. Okay? Well, my first step here is I want to simplify this, getting n by itself. So, now n's in the middle here, right, between our two inequalities. So, when I want to move the 9, I have to move the 9 to all parts. So if I subtract a 9 like this, I just subtract a 9 over here and over there, okay? To all parts together, all right? All three parts. So negative 1 minus 9 is a negative 10, still less than. What's left here is just my n is less than 17 minus 9, which is 8. So now we have this compound inequality of negative 10 is less than n, which is less than 8. So I can graph it now. n's isolated. So by graphing it, we want to make sure our number line encompasses up to through negative 10 and 8, and usually like to go a little bit past that. So let's go 0 here, let's go with 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10, negative 12. Well, if negative 10, right, so here, here's the tricky part, right? If negative 10 is less than n, so that means n's going to be greater than uh, negative 10, right? So if negative 10 is less than n, I take negative 10 and I'm going to put a open circle there, okay, right there in negative 10. Because it can't equal negative 10, but n is greater than that negative 10. We can see that, right? Negative 10 is less than n. So negative 10 is less than n, so n must be greater. So our error must be going to the right here. Up to a point where it says n is less than, though, 8. So 8 has to have an open circle as well. Okay, and n is less than that, so we bring up this error, uh, the line, all the way up to 8, and there we have it. We have our graph here that matches our inequality, because it says negative 10 is less than n, which is true, right? Negative 10 is less than n, it's not equal to. So n is all these values, all these values that the line can be, can work there, right? You know, negative 8 is uh, greater than negative 10. And then kept on going here, and it's also less than 8, right? So we keep all these values in here are also less than 8, but not equal to 8. And so there we have it. We have our graph that matches our answer of negative 10 is less than n, which is less than 8. So let's recap. We're given negative 1 is less than 9, plus n is less than 17. I subtracted 9 to all parts, both sides of the inequality, here, and the middle, leaving me n by itself in the middle, and negative 1 minus 9 being negative 10, and 17 minus 9 being 8 on the right there. But this is still one big inequality here, okay? Negative 10 is less than n, which is less than 8. So to graph that, I have an open circle at negative 10 and at 8, showing that they can't equal those values, and n is between them, uh, stuck in between there. So our graph here matches our final answer, which is negative 10 is less than n, which is less than 8. 